Listen, I never used to have pigeons before. I don't know who started feeding them. Good morning loves, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. I'm on my way to Mississauga, which is far, far away. We're going to church. I'm probably not gonna record the service like I usually do, because I really just wanna steep and savor the message. So I might show you just the outside in case you don't know where I go for church. And then I will talk to you guys after. Good morning. I already walked into it last time. But I couldn't see it. Oh, the message today was so good. It was about turning your blessings. No, wait. I was going to say that completely wrong. Okay, he was saying there's things that you asked for in the past that were blessings that are now burdens because they're overwhelming. But remember that. He said like a whole bunch of good things, but I can't even... I need coffee, guys. Like, honestly. I woke up at 1 a.m. and I didn't go back to sleep. So there's that. But it's a beautiful day. It's a lot hotter than what they said, like I said earlier. So we're gonna have some omelets. I don't know if we're gonna sit out here, but yeah, I'm so tired. <laughs> yes, yes. Omelet time. Yes, I forgot I needed to stick in the bigger pan. <laughs> That's why I thought you were making the mini one. I was gonna, yes. We got to What's that? I feel like I'm missing something. Mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes, onions. Do you both eat spinach? Yeah. Okay. What is that? Uh, this fresh ground pepper. Well, I know what that is. Whatever you did before. Oh, I was uh, just moving the veggies around. Oh, I couldn't see that. Oh, my great-grandfather. My grandfather's father. Yes, my great-grandfather. And uh, what the British did was the British came. So thoughtful. <laughs> so I needed some dressing for this. Okay. Okay. July 10th. Whew. You already know what I'm going to say about the time, so I'm not going to bother saying it. But this is different for me. I don't usually go into office on a Monday. I thought it should be less busy on the TTC. And for the way things have been going recently, that's exactly what I need. So, unless I do something fun for my lunch break, which I highly doubt, you probably won't see much of me today. But that is okay, because this is what gets the bills paid. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I put my laptop in, sunglasses, do you like my outfit? These are both called Cairo, but from different years, so they're not really spot on. And you know how I am about matching-ish. That's okay. No one's going to tell anybody. I don't know which flats I should wear today. Maybe I'll wear my white ones. I haven't worn them in so long. Oh. I thought it fell off the bed. I don't want to mash up with their laptop. Okay. I just wish that it was one of those summer days, and I hope we have a lot of them coming our way, where it starts hot and it stays hot. Because when it starts cold and then it gets super hot and then it gets cold again, you wear things like this and then you sweat and then you feel cold and you feel hot and you're just not your best self. Not the weather network, so let me stop talking about that. Uh, 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 I feel like I'm still forgetting something. Oh, my glasses, blue light blocking. That's what it is. And my AirPods are over here. Who am I? 12 years ago. Oh, these are dirty. I had a pair of glasses with prisms in them and they actually brought me to 2040. And I think you have to be at 2040 or is it 2060 in order to drive. That didn't last a long time. I think I was able to get use out of them for about a year. And then I wore them for another year just to make people around me feel comfortable that I had something that helped. And after that, I'm like, why am I doing this? But I got them two years ago this time around. So 10 years since I had glasses. I was really hoping that the prisms would make a difference with my vision being much worse than it was back then, but it doesn't. But these have blue light blocking, which I have noticed help with the fatigue my eyes get, because my eyes get so tired. Sometimes I will look at a screen, not to entertain myself, but to fall asleep. It really does make me that drowsy. Anyway, enough chit chat. When I get back, I have to do gym and my two podcasts. 
It's gonna be a busy one. Mondays are always busy. All right, let's go. That was what I was listening to. Where's the button? My pass never wants to work. Oh, there we go. It's a little after six, hot and humid. You will not hear a peep from me. No complaints. Winter's around the corner in this city, so I gotta enjoy every moment of it. I was gonna go down to do my usual gym sesh. I can't speak today. I was gonna go down to do my usual gym sesh. I go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturdays, but since the sun is still up, I'd rather do a yoga flow, probably core intensive, because you know. There's a reason why I haven't been in the pool. Well, there's several reasons, but we can't get into that. But what we're gonna get into eventually, and maybe I should do that first. Should I finish editing the vlog so it can render while I do? No, because the way I am, there's always something to fix when I'm doing a video. So if I give myself six hours to do a video after six hours yesterday of editing, then I will use up that entire time and add more text and make the transition more smooth and blah, blah, blah. And next thing you know, midnight and I have to wake up to go back to the office tomorrow. So no, I'll give myself two hours after I record and edit my two pods. But first, yoga. <laughs> Too much. It's your best you have. Close, find the connection into your other back. Squeeze, yeah. And then step it in. Maybe reach the arms back. You step it in. Yes. Yeah. Keep your right leg long. In two. You breathe. Almost there. distinct smell but it also smells like the burnt version of that smell so I walk around my apartment there's not much walking to be had do I not realize that my diffuser has been on for more than 24 hours it's not supposed to be able to puff 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 that much so I think what's happening is the little bit of water that's left it keeps blowing it out and it's burning the last bit of oils like it's not a bad smell it's almost like a smoky version of the essential oil I put in yesterday afternoon. It's just not what I expected. Anywho, I'm home. I don't know if you can hear it outside. Can you hear that? I made it home in good time. I actually left 10 minutes early. Everyone else left before me. I looked up, there was no one left in the office and I thought, well, at least I'm not wearing white today. At least my hair isn't straight. It's okay if I leave 10 minutes early because I usually log in when I get home anyway. Good thing I did because it's, aiming to be treacherous out there. I was supposed to go grocery shopping, that didn't happen. Even if I brought my umbrella, Ella A A A, that would not be the game plan today. But I did stop at Bath & Body Works. They had a sale, and I'm in need of a new body scrub. I was looking for the loofah. I don't know if I told you guys in the last vlog or if that's just something that's been in my head, but I need a new loofah. And with the way Greedflation is going. Things, the cost of things these days, don't get me started okay. The fact that I got 12 nuggets and it came up to 18 Canadian dollars, Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Let me just change into my workout gear and get a session in because we're not going on that tangent. That was January 11th of this year. And today is the 12th. So, 
Now I have sunlight. You don't know how much this means to me because I can actually see. And I know people are like, oh, just turn on the light, but I don't want to waste electricity. So now when I cook during the day, I can actually see, well, I mean, that's the thing about my eye disease. Sunlight is super important. The more light, the better you can see what you're doing. But the problem is, problem is, if the light is too bright, it stains your eyes. You have to find the in-between. I was like, why are you guys so far away? You're still kind of far away. But anyway, I need to do this super duper quickly. I actually use canola oil, which if you didn't know, canola oil is Canadian oil. Did you know that? Hey. Fun fact of the day. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so let's keep this up. I have a feeling I'm gonna need more oil than that. My planting game still needs improvement. But, uh, you know what I would like? I want every scientist to stop what they're doing and just work on a cure for my eye disease. Imagine. <laughs> whoa. Blind me in a bachelor. Whoa, whoa. Symphony of squeaking. Okay, but why did this have to pop off? Try to snap this back on. Find. Ooh, there we go. Handle. You know how clutch that is. Ooh. Didn't see that. Okay, so. Mango, pineapple, peach. Should we make this one milky? Or should we make this one with orange juice? Again, I didn't add enough juice. Orange juice to make it less sweet. Okay, so gotta watch this. You know that happens quick. Whew. One thing I can say I love about this kitchen is I have quite a bit of storage space. So I don't like clutter on my countertop. So being able to store all these appliances, I got a popcorn maker and a waffle maker down there. Let me show you this. I know some of you guys can see better than me. You can probably see directly into whoever lives across there. There's that. Last time or before when I had the older version, before they put the bedroom door, do you remember that? Are you an OG? My stepdad put two drills in the top to make curtain fall. You know what I might actually do, but I hope it doesn't get rid of the light, is a frosted security screen. So that light still comes through, but you can't see so much. Because this angle is right to my bed. I don't want to see, I don't want people to see me getting up. I mean, although I do do shots like that for the vlog, it's different. When I choose to, obviously I'm not waking up. I'm recreating waking up for you. But for people to just be like looking at me going to bed and waking up, that's weird. The last two times I went out to eat or I was eating around people, I'd pick up something and I wasn't picking it properly because I can't really see food that well anymore. Which is crazy. I never thought a day would come if I go to a buffet and I'm like, what's that? Wait, what's that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I want that. Pick up all the things you don't want on your plate. Oh, I'm not gonna bother putting on eye makeup today. I'm gonna go, ooh, I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done. They're overdue, thank God for the curly bangs. Because if you saw, it's like there's a second eyebrow growing in underneath. Mm -mm. Not the vibe for 2023. You want to do anything good. Waffles, pancakes, French toast. I was listening to a podcast today where they were trying to rate which one's better than what. What's the order? For me, French toast, waffles, pancakes. If my French toast was better, you would see me make it more often, but I need to improve on that. But French toast, whenever I go to brunch, best thing ever. <laughs> But it's also 
Problems for another day. Let me just have a little bit of breakfast and get right back to it. Maybe I'll go back to being wise and get that maple, it's not maple, macadamia and syrup today. It's on the way to where I get my eyebrows done anyway. Evening loves. I'm just out at Shops on Don Mills. If you know, you know. This is a perfect place to come in the summer to walk and do a little bit of errands before going home to edit another TikTok. So I will show you when we get to the middle square. If you're new to my vlogs, it's a really great place. Aritzia, then one of the best dessert shops in the city. Really good movie theater. Over here are a couple cafes. This wasn't here last time. The good thing about vlogging is it makes me feel like a tourist in my own city. Like, why else would I pull up my camera in a place I've been to a million times? Other than to show you guys. So over here is Kelly's Landing. The landings are a chain in Canada, they're all right. And then Joey's, that's a cult classic. And there's a couple more spots there that they do. But we're gonna head into Anthro for a bit. are closed around here now. Post pandemic. I smell chicken nuggets somewhere. And you know how I am about chicken nuggets. Like where a whole fucking full moon it's a problem. And I don't have any in my fridge so I don't know what to do. I need to cook something healthy tonight anyway. Thank you! I'm so happy I found this guy. Now this might sound Acceptance is key. Lots of creators on this app and other platforms that are actually classed as visually impaired but label themselves as blind because it sounds better and it will probably get more traction. However, raising That's awareness about visually impairment is as important as raising awareness about blindness. Where has he been half of my legally blind life? Like, hello. It is completely different being low vision, visually impaired, legally blind, blind blind. And I cannot tell you the journey that you will go through, you only know where you're at and the strife that you're going through, the suffering that you may be feeling and how you're gonna strive to do better. But just hearing somebody else share their experience and understanding that I've met a lot of people who are completely blind, I've met people who have lower visual acuity than me and they always say, what I'm going through is harder because I don't know when the end is in sight and I'll never be completely blind. At least they can adapt to what is. Then on the other hand, I've had sighted people who tell me to be grateful, which I already am, or that it's not that bad because I'm not completely blind, but walk a mile in my shoes and trip up and see how you feel. So it's funny, I think that you just have to take it step by step, pun intended, but also understand where you're at and grow and go from there. This is what we talk about in the pods all the time, but seriously though, Sometimes I think about where I was five years ago or where I'll be five years from now and it just hurts my brain. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. Like, It's not just being blind or legally blind because a lot of people are like, why are you saying legally blind if you're not blind? Because legally I am blind. There's a definition of where blindness begins and I'm past that threshold and I have been past that threshold for about six years. So just because I do a lot and I'm always out and about in these streets doesn't mean I'm not struggling internally. And I told you guys before, the last couple of vlogs, I've done a disservice the last couple of years by not showing how much of a struggle it is. There's some nights that I go to bed crying and praying to God that there is a cure because all the tech, all the large screens, the bigger font keyboards, me memorizing functions on the camera or keyboard shortcuts to edit or 
memorizing where to go in the city and being, how do I say it? I'm independent in this city because it's familiar to me. It was eye-opening going to Europe and realizing, because this is unfamiliar, it's new territory, how much my visual impairment really impairs me, how much vision I've actually, actually lost, if that makes sense. So I say this all to say that at the end of the day, you have to be honest with where you're at, understand that people who don't know will never know, and that is okay, and you don't hold it against them. And you just need to have good people, strong people around you, as strong as people think I am. I don't keep anyone around, anyone around me that isn't strong. I don't keep anyone around me that is here to run game or play around or is shady because I've had those people. And with star arts, a layer on top of everything is what I like to call it. You can't add foolishness to the mix. And you just have to really pick and choose not only your battles, but the people you want to have on this journey too. So that's like my little ramble for the day, completely unexpected. I'm definitely going to subscribe on my phone. It is well after five. I want to give myself time to get to the nail salon. You see figure one? When the gape is gaping like that, you know it's time to go. I stretched it out the first time ever that I waited a month to get my nails done. I mean, after all, it's a treat, so. I don't know if I should put on a cover up. It looks like it's gonna rain, but it doesn't say that it's gonna rain. So I don't know. It's kind of wrinkly from being in the flat back of the back, but this outfit is super duper weird. Is this giving confused Andy? Because I feel confused right now. I have a very serious phone call after work, and I'm just, you know those ones? I'll check in with you guys, probably when we get downtown, because you've been to the nail salon with me so many times. Or maybe I'll show you the finished product. Hello, hello. Look where we are at again. These are the nails. I like this. It's a very subtle lilac. Well, that's one way of getting in. Should I begin? How about I change my outfit? You guys saw what I was wearing before earlier. What had happened was I went out to the balcony to get a temperature check. One of the many reasons I could never live in a place that doesn't have a balcony, a veranda, or something. Because I'm now used to know what the real weather is outside. Plus, I would never live so high where it's twisted, where it's different. So I go out there and I'm like, Brr. it is definitely not 25 degrees. Not me and that. So I switched into jeans, which apparently the fit is a fit because I kept getting hit on in the mall. And I'm just like, why is it when I do the least, I get the most attention? It just doesn't make sense to me. Then. Where's the other one? Then, when I came back in, I heard zzz, zzz. It was a bee or a flea stuck in my curls. I was losing my ish and I kept thinking, oh my gosh, today's not the day to figure out if I'm allergic to bee stings. I can't deal with this. Plus, I don't even know if it left my house because I started freaking out. If you saw me, you would just laugh. I've never been stung before and I don't want to find out what that feels like. So I just had the door open for a really long time and I'm like, okay, I need to go because I don't want to be late and I was early today. Then we got these nails did and they're nice and fresh. I'm gonna see how long they last this go around. The pot I was listening to, the economy right now, whoo, whoo, whoo. That's why I'm trying to find this other card. I can do that later. Let me try to feign like I can give you guys eye contact. So then the next thing, oh, where's my hand sanitizer though? Then I went to work. So I brought my badge, and it's so funny that I'm wearing jeans in the office. No one was there. There was one guy leaving, and people were cleaning. But I went to work because I realized on Tuesday I left this behind. And listen, when yogurt is $5, I'm going back to get my yogurt. Okay? I don't care how crazy that sounds. I was surprised it was still there. You won't catch me playing. I'm thinking about doing videos on how I save money. I'm thinking about how I do videos on how to be a frugalista so that you can have fun during these hard times because real life just got real. And if I can be completely honest with you guys, well, I mean, I am, but like, like really, really honest, most of my life I've lived below my means. I mean, I do shop a lot, figure one, we're going to get into this in a bit, but I'm very cognizant, perfect word, of spending and 
financial freedom. And financial freedom to me is not being stressed about your next paycheck coming in. I have not lived paycheck to paycheck since I was 15, 16. That's saying a lot. That was half my life ago. So, I mean, I've had my, what do you call them? Everyone has them. Like people have privileges. Where are my words today? I come up cognizant and I forget privileges. I had my privileges in life. There's reasons why I'm able to live here. This is also a place that is expensive for the square footage and for how it looks, but compared to what a bachelor costs nowadays, A. Just to give you guys a heads up, <clears throat> this exact same unit with stainless steel appliances is going for $450 more a month. Make it make sense. So, I think I would do pretty good doing that type of content. I just don't know if you guys want to see it. But let's switch gears. I'm going to try on these shoes to make up for the ones that I lost a couple of vlogs ago. If you know, you know. And this dress, which fitting that I went to work to get my yogurt, because this is supposed to be another work dress. I realize I have a lot of dresses. I'll never be the girl that says, I have nothing to wear. That's like the biggest lie on here. I always have something work dresses that's a little tricky because i have dresses with the cuts the slits short the midi the long slightly translucent i feel like this is something that i could wear in office but i also feel like it's giving not rich anti just anti so we'll see but first this drop down i gotta try to put it back up and let's hope that it's stuck let's also hope that i don't cause anything Incidents since I'm all alone. That's the thing about being solo dolo. If anything should happen, who's gonna come get me? You guys, if you see this, then you know, okay. Alicia B is wearing this honor mustard dress. I'm so extra. The material of this feels like linen, but I don't think it is. I love the color. I like the length. I don't like this part, but I'm probably too picky with it. And then the shoes. Oops. They don't feel like they'd be comfortable after half an hour, but they look a lot better than I thought I, they would. I mean, yeah, even with the square toe, it's still a moment though. What was I saying? I told you guys about the bee. I'm trying to run through everything. Oh, did I tell you about the Mayelli? So I was trying to condition my scalp, give my curls a little love before I left. I don't know what I was thinking or what I was doing or how I sidetracked, but when I came home, I went to the washroom to wash my hands and my toe hit glass. So I'm like, what's that? Knocked over the Miali bottle that I apparently didn't close all over my bath rug. So now it smells like rosemary oil in there. <sighs> Let's just call it a night. I'm trying to put this thing back up because as soon as I hit stop recording, it fell again and I said, I'm not fighting with it tonight. All these stickies came with all of these, but they're all dried up. A new set of these. I'm gonna have all these clear clips for nothing. Ooh, let me just shower. I went to the gym early this morning and I did cardio and abs because we we're trying to get the washboard back. And I thought it was a doxy that made me nauseous yesterday. I was wrong. That was that was a cycle. So I thought about it. I'm like, I made sure I took my, by the way, Doxy is the antibiotics I take to get my skin clear. It really works. So if you ever want, ask your dermatologist for prescription. It makes you very nauseous if you don't take it with a lot of water and food. So I'm a shower and then get at it because today is going to be a busy one. Listen, I never used to have pigeons before. I don't know. Who started feeding them? This year we have pigeons and I'm not here to play. So, I'm a swiffer outside even if it looks crazy. This is exactly why I started here. All I have left to do is shake the fake grass. But I'll wait until nighttime to do that because if I shake and I hit somebody's head, whoo, whoo, one time before I got the tiles in the grass, I don't even know if you guys can see me because I'm angled so weirdly. One time before I had the grass and the tiles, I was wiping the concrete 
and of course the water overflowed a little bit and this guy looked up and cussed me off raw. I felt so bad though because he doesn't know whether the water is clean. It wasn't, but still, you know what I mean? So picture this, you're new in Toronto and this is your first experience. Trains going backwards, forwards, always. And this is a southbound train from the station Summer Hill. Loves Happy Saturday. I'm on my way to get my hair did. This is probably the worst day to do that though. It is spitting already and it's forecasted to be a thunderstorm. So I'm wearing a hoodie just in case it actually gets to that level. We're supposed to have plans after I get my hair done. I don't think I'm gonna go to an outside market because for the amount of money I'm about to drop to mess my hair up right after, Not interested. Yeah. My schedule, like the day before, I'll just resend the confirmation booking to you. That'd be great. Yeah. My worst nightmare. I gotta get home before it thunders. Chef Kev, done did it again. Done did it again. Done did it again. <laughs>